And now, Melissa, they're hemorrhaging, hemorrhaging viewers in the APM. I've never seen anything like this. The audience is furious. I'll give you the numbers. Um, overall, Tuesday, last night, the overall number, meaning all the audience, um, they went down from seven to eight. That never happens. Jesse Waters had 1.8 million. Kilmeade pulled, it's not about Kilmeade, it's about the fact that Tucker's not there. Kilmeade pulled 1.7, so they went down. Um, Tucker's previous Tuesday, 3.2 million. So they went from 3.2 million on a Tuesday to 1.7 million without Tucker. In the key demo, which is the one, you know, they really pay attention to, the previous Tuesday, Tucker got 481,000. On Tuesday, the APM got 149,000. They lost 340,000 in the key demo. uh, CNN and MSNBC beat Fox's APM hour in the demo. As Oliver Darcy pointed out last night on CNN, these are the worst ratings that the channel has had in that demo since pre-9-11, Melissa, since pre-9-11, 23 years ago. No, that's amazing. And, you know, the the what they're going to try and do and the point that they would make is that, yes, that's just the immediate aftermath and we are going to build those people back. Who knows? But I was laughing when I read, I think it was in the Wall Street Journal in that article that clearly Irina Brigante basically wrote herself, that they said that after Bill O'Reilly and Megyn Kelly left, ratings were fine, that they didn't suffer at all. That's not true. I was there. Um, no, it was the same thing where there was not quite as big of a dip, but there was a giant hole. They did manage to, over time, build it back. And and Tucker was the only one who got it back to that level. And this is the thanks he gets. But, you know, now they're acting like, oh, that was nothing. There was sort of there was there was no no damage done. We were fine. We stayed on. No, actually. What they're really worried about is that exact damage. And that is the motivation. That is why they want to ruin Tucker. That is why they want to trash anyone who leaves. And that is why I believe they would leak that clip if it was them. And it sure feels like it was that clip about Tucker insulting his audience that right now it's operation separate Tucker from his audience. Don't let Mm -hmm. him take that audience to another platform, to anywhere else. Mission number one, make sure you separate him from that audience because obviously they're gone from Fox for now. And the only way to get them back is get them away from Tucker and draw them back with something else. That's what they're doing. You're so right. Because they're worried not only that Tucker will go independent and pull audience. I mean, if I were Tucker, I'd go independent. Maybe I'd release my show every every night at 8 p.m. Maybe I'd maybe I'd do it live, you know, on Rumble or whatever at 8 p.m. every night. I think he 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 actually has a shot of beating the existing Fox News 8 p.m. slot. But what if he went to Newsmax? You know, I haven't really seriously talked about them because let's face it, they don't have anywhere near the market power as Fox, and they're not even in as many homes. I think they're 20 million homes short of what Fox is even in. But what if Tucker actually went to 8 p.m. on Newsmax? Our friend Eric Bowling is there now, who we both love, but I'm just saying, what if he did move to eight, and let's say Eric moved to nine? Um, Just this past week, during the 8 p.m. hour, Eric Bowling averaged 562,000 viewers. Last Tuesday, he averaged 122,000. So the the Fox News audience is going click and moving over to Newsmax right now. Imagine if it were Tucker in that spot. Absolutely. I mean, obviously, that's what they're worried about. But I think that the larger point and what I would say to Tucker is a conversation that you and I have had many times, which is that this is how our business works. This is always going to be probably how our business works. When you leave, they try to destroy you. When you're riding high, they try to undermine you so they don't have to pay you as much. I mean, I think it's the reason I've started my own production company. I have a docu-series that I've already sold. Um, it's that amazing. We are getting ready to put into production. You will be seeing it on, you know, one of the biggest streamers out there. You will be it, seeing, I'll just say, let me just know, you will be seeing it everywhere. It is, I'm not saying this because Melissa is my friend. I have seen, I know what it's about. We're not at liberty to reveal. We're going to break a yeah, lot I've of seen news. The sizzle. Everybody everywhere is going to be talking about it. Predict, yeah. cut the clip. We'll play it again. Everybody everywhere. Sorry, keep going. Yeah. Uh, well, thank you. I appreciate that. But, you know, the I think what you and I talked about when, when you left and then subsequently when I left is that I don't see our business changing. 
You know, I don't see it's this complete ruthlessness. I mean, it's what makes the show Succession so interesting. It's this complete ruthlessness that exists in especially our industry, probably others. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's really this ugly, um, but there's so much at stake in in entertainment. And they also have the luxury of there's so many people that want to fill our jobs. You're never going to talk people out of wanting to be anchors. You know, it's there's no danger that people will stop volunteering for that job knowing that they're going to have their throat slit on the other side. They don't care. They want to be on television. So mm-hmm. I think you and I have talked about the fact that you can just never go to work for anyone else again. And I actually think that's what Tucker is realizing. Look, you did the tough thing during COVID. You paid your people and pulled your business through the pandemic. And now doing the tough thing could qualify you for up to $26,000 per employee at covidtaxrelief.org. Government funds are available to reward companies with two or more employees who stayed open during COVID. This is not a loan, and you don't have to pay it back. The program's complicated, but no one knows more about it than the CPAs and tax experts at covidtaxrelief.org. You pay nothing up front. They do all the work and share a percentage of the cash they get you. Businesses of all types, including nonprofits and churches, can qualify, including those who took PPP loans, even if you had increases in sales. You did the tough thing for your employees during COVID. Let covidtaxrelief.org help get you up to 26,000 bucks per employee. Visit covidtaxrelief.org, covidtaxrelief.org, covidtaxrelief.org. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.